You want a piece of yeah, me? Yeah, I want a piece you of me. You want some? It's been a long time, baby. I thought, I thought you were taller. Blew in. Blew in all the way from Baltimore. All right. I am tall. Well, we're going to see what you got. Your butt. Well, let's go in All right. Your let's face. do it. Let's go. Move. All right. Come on, Sean. Show me what you got, baby. That's right. Come on. Come on. Upright Rose is working on those traps. He's got to get those traps bigger and better. This is the way to do it. Sight. All right. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm going for a closer grip, Sean. Yeah, you are. Because this will help me put on It's working the same area, just from a different angle. I'm going to fly you out to California to stay with me for a little while. See how you like that. But I'm not going to show you the secrets. Let's go. Good job. Yeah. I'm going to cheer on. for you today. Tomorrow you're going to hate me. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Get up, baby. All right, let's keep moving. See some dumb shots. Ready? All right. Uh, Come on. Now, I notice that you're doing these pretty much in the front, Sean. Why do you do that? Better stretch. Better stretch. Come on. Let's go. Notice how he's squeezing at the top of each rep. Give him that really, okay. really squeeze it and feel that muscle work. Yeah, you get a better stretch when you just bring it all the way down. All right. And that allows you to bring a better contraction. I'm going to go to the side. Yep. And come up like this. Okay. And also, when I come up, I like the roll. roll. Yep. That's just a matter yeah. of comfortability. That's good. And this is the exercise when you get the most muscular. Boom, they pop out of nowhere, right in here. That's right. It's great now to get a bigger, bigger traps. So that I can bury you. <laughs> All right. September. All right. So deep. You ain't gonna know. Yeah. Coming right back at you. Then. Let's do some cable crossing. All right, baby. Rear deltoids. Let's go. All right. What do you want? 50? Give me 50 over there for the first one. All right. All right. Step over here on this side so you're out of way. Okay. Let's go. Mm. Now, notice how Sean does this exercise. He's pretty much parallel. And... He's crossing over this way so that he can really squeeze this area right in here. Now, right now, he's working the rear head of the shoulder. Yeah, that's excellent for your okay. Your back development. Let's go. Like we said before, it's always good to switch up. Yeah, change up. We'll do these with uh, various amounts of weight. We'll also use a, a dumbbell on from time to time. Do these seated or standing. The good thing about the cables right here, constant tension. That's the main thing. Let's go one. Let's work our way backwards. We'll go another one here, then go back. Okay, give All me right. 70 pounds over there. That's good. Now give me 60. What are you gonna use? Sean's going up to 60. Okay. Good. I'm not gonna let you use more than me. This is my house. That's right. I noticed that also. When Sean does this exercise, he keeps his elbows bent. Why do you do that, Sean? Uh, you gotta keep it slightly bent. So you don't pull anything in your arm, your bicep, maybe your forearm. Plus, uh, you got constant tension. Yeah. This weight's pulling against you, so you're fighting against it. If you can straighten it out, a lot of times you're bringing your tricep to play. So I kind of oh. keep it slightly bent. You gotta raise up a little bit. For the momentum purposes, especially with Kevin, as you increase the weight. Now. Okay, let's work our way back this way. Let me see something. They're already starting to swell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, my shoulders, I found, has always been something easy to develop for me. You know, but a lot of guys got to work really hard to develop shoulders. But all I can say is that just train them hard and train them heavy. That's right. The way that Sean's doing right now. Sean, way you stop. All right. All right? Yeah. How do you feel, man? Feels good. You know what? The biggest difference in, in size also has a lot to do with how much body weight you're carrying. That's right. Of course, Kevin weighs in at about 250 pounds. I'm about 215 at my maximum poundage. So as a result, he's, he should have the advantage when it comes down to how much actual weight the two of us use. But pound for pound, you want to maximize your strength. Hold nothing back. Bodybuilding is basically but, illusion anyways. We all know size not everything when it comes to competition. That's right. That's right. Have to be overall balance. Here we go again. You grabbed it inside last time? I went inside. Okay. Overall balance is what you're working towards. And it's the key to 
being a successful bodybuilder. Oh. Right, Sean? That's right, you know about success, second in the Mr. Olympia. The best I was able to accomplish was third, but uh, there's nowhere to go but up for both of us, that's right. That's right, baby. That's why we finally hooked up together. Yeah. So I can learn a little bit from Sean, yeah, but Sean can learn a little bit. Well, you know, the competition isn't always necessary to the enemy. We have a little fun here and there in the gym, trade secrets, competition, competitiveness, that's all good and fine. But what it comes down to is hard work. Good. Let's go. I'm going to cheer you on today, but when I'm on stage, man, you're your worst nightmare. And that's the biggest misconception about bodybuilding is that there's some kind of inside trick or secret. Nobody ever gave me uh, really any secrets or tips that I didn't already know about in a sense through trial and error, training with different people, reading different magazines and watching different uh, competitions on, and events like that. Um, it's all pretty basic. We all do the same exercises. We all basically eat the same food. What it boils down to is how bad you want it. You know, I can do the same four exercises as you, but if you're not fired up and you have an agenda, and by that I mean a deadline or a goal in mind, uh, chances are I'm going to blow you away and surpass you in much greater speed because I know where I want to go and how to get there. I can do the same four exercises, but the intensity level and the poundages will definitely be different, and my body will look different as a result. <sighs> Now, this is considered as almost an overall mass builder for the triceps. Because what Sean's doing, he's got about 90 pounds, 85 pounds behind his head, pushing it up. When you do this exercise, you can use this kind of a weight with good form. Okay, take me. And it'll build. Yeah. What? Well, outer head. It builds the outer head of yeah, the tricep. Of the tricep. Now, this is something that I have a problem with keeping you a spot on. Because I normally. Don't go this heavy. You got Come it? on, baby. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll send a letter home to your mom explaining why you're not in the Olympia. Okay. You definitely got to be careful and have a strong workout partner. I know Kevin's already made mention that he'll start off with 85 pounds, but he's customarily working up to 110, 120. That's fine and good, but I told him it's not how much you press. It's what it looks like. That's, what, that's the end result. That's right. Good job. All right. Come on. Let's go over here. Let's move right along and do a tricep press down, reverse grip. All right. Okay. Now, what head of the tricep does this head show? This is basically the outer head, and usually when I'm doing it hard, getting ready for competition, there's no way I don't have any room to talk, you know. So concentrated. Come on. I'm trying to bring out straight. Let's go. You can see how his tricep has developed, and uh, Sean is known for having great arms, and. Uh, He's gonna show me how he built his today. Thank you. But I'm gonna show you how I built mine. Okay. So I'm gonna add some weight. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna add some weight, baby. Take me out. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Very rarely will you find another bodybuilder in the pros giving out a whole lot of compliments. But you can't help but give out compliments to your competition because they worked hard to get there. I respect Kevin for even showing up for the workout because there's a lot of egos in bodybuilding. And we're both trying to win the same prize in bodybuilding. That's the Mr. Olympia title. But there's room for everybody, I think. Well, good job. Let's go again. Training hard as you will. Hard as you are training. Yeah. And show me no problem. Let's reverse our you grip. You your dream, baby. Yeah. Let's reverse our so grip. Come on. Well, this is where it starts, you know? Yeah. You can't play when it comes to working triceps. You got to add the weight. And you got to always have good form. Notice Sean's form is going down. He's squeezing that muscle. Every rep, and yeah, that's what matters. But again, he's doing it too light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I'm learning, you know? So I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit. That's why you're here. Just a little bit, because I'm excited. I'm training with Sean Ray. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you, Kevin. but I've seen you in the magazines over the past two years. But remember, I've been there the last five. So. That's why I came here. <laughs> I've secrets. been where you're going. But we're both going to the top. Let's go. Good job. Now, the difference in that grip is that uh, when you go with the reverse grip, it's more of an isolated, concentrated movement. You can't use as much weight. You turn it around, you pack on the pounds, and that's when you're going to get the development on the tricep as far as size. So the other one's basically for cutting and shaping. That's right. Let's go through this one more time. Hand me this 85. All right. All right. You know, you take a world-class champion like Sean Ray, this is a guy that I admire 
and read a lot of his articles in the magazines. Of course, Flex magazine. For many a year, he's got experience on me. But I'm here to learn. Yeah. And I'm here to find out how good he is. Thanks. Come on. All right, baby. Yep. You want me to hand it to you? Yeah, hand it. Okay. Come on. Bye-bye. I'm so big and massive, it's hard for me to reach back there. <laughs> But with those shoulders, man, I'm sure you have a lot of other problems, such as buying clothes. You can't worry about that when you're in the gym. You just gotta go for broke. That's right. Let's go. Let's talk and more walk. Let's go three more reps. One, two. All right, good All job. All right, take so much. Let's do some kickbacks. Okay. All right. Moving right along, we're gonna move into some dumbbell kickbacks right here. Now notice how Sean is formed. He's got his arms out. He's again straight across parallel. Yeah. And he's kicking back. That's the main thing. Kick really back. Squeezing that muscle. Kick back hard and squeeze it. That's where you're gonna get the separation. What? I'm getting a good pump. Messing around with this guy. Come on. Let's go. Alright, good. Now how many reps you normally do? I usually get around 12. I usually stay around a 45 pound dumbbell. Uh, anything heavier than that, I start to lose my form. All right. And again, that's where the difference in poundage and shape and size come in is. No matter what you're doing, how much weight, form is what's going to develop the muscle. Kevin's noted for his tricep development as well as his shoulders. So that's one of the reasons we brought him down here today. And what he doesn't know is I'm going to use everything he's showing me here today against him. That's right. That's right. Fighting words. Fighting words, baby. <laughs> Well, what we got? Ten more months? Let's go. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I got all I got all the time in the world. You know, I'm still young, you're young. And uh you know where to go but up. Let's go. Kick it back hard. The important thing is to keep the elbow stationary as a pivot point. Kick it back hard. Let's okay, the top. Let's one go another one here. here. One more. I'm so excited about training with Sean. I don't wanna leave. Come on, baby. Let's go. I might have to buy you a round trip ticket to train with me for a little while <laughs> for our next show. All right. Come on. One more. Sean, you're making that look kind of easy, man. We'll get to you're the hold back on me. Yeah, I'm holding back for the next Hold back. Come on, let's go. Flex Wheeler, Mr. USA, is going to show us exactly how to do the cable side laterals properly. Now, there's other variations, like I mentioned at the top of the hour, in that you can also do these with a dumbbell, you use the two arms at a time. Good. Let's change that. What this is working is the side deltoid. And again, it's great to use the cable because you got constant tension throughout the whole range of movement, and you got a lot more control. And it's very easy to do drop sets, which means changing the weight in succession uh, in the same set. Okay. All right, Sean, let's go. The reason I really prefer using this is because sometimes um, I prefer to use the unilateral method, you know, where like when you go to class and you have a special tutor and she's tutoring you on one subject, this is tutoring a muscle on one direct subject right here. I believe that works best for me. Good point. <coughs> Come on. Ooh, don't have yeah. chin here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I like to kind of lean my body away, lean this way, away from the machine, and my shoulder gets a better pull right. and greater stretch. This is no different than like when you're doing a dumbbell concentration curls and so on. Just tuning that one muscle at a time is doing the same as the shoulder. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's move on to our next one. Let's go. Let's do some rear bent over laterals. Let's do it. In the back portion of the shoulder. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's three heads on the shoulder. You got the front, center, the front and the sides, and the rear. Right now what we're doing is working the rear, and this is another transition exercise that you can lead into going into back. And it's working basically the rear portion of the shoulder girl. There you go. He's got a little bit of momentum going. You're up, baby. You're gonna get that as you increase the poundage. Let's go. I try to keep my head down and my chest as close to my knees as possible. Great stretch at the bottom. Come on. Three. Squeeze. Come on. Four. Contract those muscles. Come on. Come on. You can really see these muscles right in here. This is what he basically keen on right in there. Real adult muscle. Come on, let's go. Ah. Yeah. Oh, no All flex. Right. It's almost impossible not to bring your elbows doing this exercise. Definitely. And the goal is to basically bring your elbows back as far as you possibly can. Let's move on to some upright rows. Let's do it. 
sits right here at the cable machine. We'll use the cable upright row with a straight bar and do these basically with a close grip. Let me get in there, give you a break. Adjust the power. All right. Again, what's nice about the cables, again, it's not necessarily convenient. I want it all. Let's go. Because it hits you a little differently than free weights. But uh, the good thing is you got constant tension on the upward pull and the downward swing. There you go. And again, most cable machines are not equipped to go two or 300 pounds. But it really doesn't matter. That's where the repetitions come in. Definitely. Good. Come on. Come on, Sasha. Straight up to my nose. Two. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Eight. Let's go. Nine. Ten. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Right. This again. Go ahead and start on the other side. Flex on the side laterals. All right. Got it. What we're going to do here today is go through this rotation three separate times. So we're doing basically three sets. And again, what you can do is stay right here in one exercise and do three sets in succession, but we're rotating. Flex, like, turn around, do it from the rear. All right, got it. Right. Show them a different angle? Yep. All right. Okay, again, this is working basically the side lateral, but all three heads are still incorporated throughout the course of the exercise. And what's advisable is to strap in with your hand very weak and your grip's not very strong. Okay. Let's go. Trying to feel the power. Huh? Yeah. It's getting to me. Three. Four. Come on, son. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Hey, two more. Uh, Come on. You ain't getting out of it. <laughs> yeah. I see you. Come on. All right. Let's go. One. Slippery when wet. Two. Come on. Come on. Uh, Come on. Two more. One. Two. Okay. All right. My hands are slipping. Whew. It's wet. It's getting wet. Let's go. Let's Back over here. Wet. Let's do it. That's right. You got to keep the momentum up in order to keep the intensity high. And again, it's not vital that you keep your head all the way down. But it's comfortable. Squeeze it. Oh, oh it's getting heavy. Yeah. All right. Two, three. Pound it. Pound it. Come on. Good. All right. Let's keep moving. Bennett, you've been a professor longer than me. You're not sweating as much as me. No. You must know something that I don't know. I know. Well, that's I got some learning to do. Pizza and ice cream it takes a little while longer to get out of my system. All right. I know you're in competition training for him. Flex is about 15 pounds away from the contest, and he's still hard as nails. This is working trapezius muscle. All right, let's go. Keep the pace. Come on. Come on, son. Yeah, come on. Gotta check out my competition here. Uh, okay, right. let's, let's work the reverse this time. Boom, 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 let's go. Go back here? Yes. All right. It's always good to mix it up. There's no rule of thumb where you have to follow a set script. All right. The main thing is keep the intensity. Let's go. The thing I find which works best for everyone is always about the same amount of sufficient rest periods between sets. And again, that rest period is going to vary depending on how many cards you have. Yeah. Oh, man. I want exercise. It's killing me. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to take me through the ringer. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's All right. You're up. All right. Okay, we're going to keep rocking and rolling right here with you. Coming back at you. On the Flex Magazine workout, Flex Wheeler, Mr. USA. You know it. Come on. No room for the wicked. I will see you next day. Come on, Flex. All the way. You'll notice that this particular exercise not works as a general tricep area, but concentrates more on the outer head of the tricep. Sure makes that look easy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can see the horseshoe in his right. arm right here, and the striations coming in. I know when he's in great shape, it's probably just striking from top to bottom. Right, okay, boy. you're set. Let's go, sir. Okay. Again, you want to remember to get a full range of motion all the way up and then a complete contraction at the bottom. Great, Sean. All the way. All the way. You have to remember that arm size, basically two-thirds of the arm size, the volume of muscle comes from the tricep. That's why it's always important to never neglect the triceps. A lot of guys will concentrate just on the bicep, yeah. but you come definitely on, want to work two the more. triceps as well. One. Come on. All the way. Two. Okay. okay. All right. I like that exercise. 
you pump. <sighs> Key here is try to keep your elbows stationary and locked at your side. Okay, it's coming up. It's all in the, the elbow, or right in the elbow joint right here. Don't swing your elbows forward. Don't bend over forward. Oh Straight up and down. Boom, that's what's Come good on. about Three this more. machine One. is it has back support. Yeah, two. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's right. move on to the next exercise. All right. We're gonna move, <laughs> move on over here to the lying tricep extensions. Some people call these, what, French press, right? Okay, you wanna jump in, I'll yeah. spot. I'm in there. Okay, oops, all right. Close so, grip. Okay, got it? Okay. All right. Again, this exercise is real important. It hits a different area of the tricep. This particular lying ex tricep extension works the yes, long Sean. head of the tricep. Come on. The big volume area of the tricep. Come on, Sean. I got three. All right, come on. Two. Good. One. Good. One more. Uh, zero. Good. Okay, right. I got it. Okay, first, uh, you want to go? Yeah. Give me some, give me some. All right. All right. I thought you okay. could do more than this. Oh, no. It's okay. That's still hard. Yeah. Okay, good. There's a lot of pictures I've seen, Boyer, in particular. Uh, <laughs> the tricep pose on stage. Is there a particular way you have to pose it when you're on stage? Well, I think naturally the better shape you're in, the more definition you're going to expose. But the main thing is to really get into the movement. Uh, you know, and actually working out is part muscle control as well. Yeah. One more. Okay, all the way up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, you moving in? Yeah. Oh, let's go. All right. It's important, number one, okay. never take your eye off the bar. Make sure that when you're concentrating, that it's coming down right to the forehead or just beyond the forehead. You take your eye off the bar, next thing you know, you can hit the bridge of your nose, the weight can slip out of your hand. A lot of tragic things can happen if you don't have a spotter and you're trying to use excessive amounts of weight. This is just our first set. I know you use, I've seen you doing these with 325s on there. So uh, we gotta be really strong with this. All right, okay. one more. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, I've seen other people do this with other kinds of bars. What's your favorite? I personally like an easy curl bar. I feel the, the grip a little better. That's the bar that's right. shaped and like it's a W. Right, and it's quite as much as stress on, uh, on the wrist. On the right. joints. You feel yeah. the same way? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's move on then. Let's move on to the tricep kickback. Okay, this is a good tricep exercise to finish off with. In other words, you really get a chance to really isolate that outer head of the tricep. As you can see with Sean there, it really stands out as he's going back. One more. Great. Okay. Up. Okay, other side. Okay. Come on, Sean. Here we go. Again, he's getting a full range of motion, really contracting the muscle at yeah. the very top part of the movement. It's important not to swing it back, and he's keeping his elbow high, which totally isolates the tricep head. Good. One more time. That's it. Okay. Up. All, All right. right. Talk about pump. This is the exercise for the pump, all right? Oh, no doubt about it. Good finishing off tricep exercise. You sure no. makes that look easy, doesn't it? Well, I mean, look at that. I mean, it doesn't come easy, but yeah. uh, I think this form is perfect. The elbow's yeah. not even moving. That's the main thing. I notice some people will do these standing with their arm resting on their knee. You know. Yeah, a lot of times people will do it too low. Yeah. And they use a lot of weight, but they don't really get the full range of motion and the contraction. Keeping that elbow high really isolates For, that tricep. Does this work in the inside of the tricep or the outside? Well, actually, it hits more of the outside head of the tricep. Yeah. 